Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. I feel like um, when I say hello, everybody, it's I know. like um, Steve Carell. Yeah. Is it like, hi, everybody? Yes, yes. That's exactly <laughs> how I feel every single time. <laughs> me too. I'm putting lotion on. Don't mind me. Oh, I don't mind. My skin is like crazy dry. Mm. I've been like sitting it's outside for a little while like trying to get outside for 10 or 15 yeah. minutes and hoping that the UV will help my eczema mm, issues. Yeah. I don't know. It's been gorgeous out. It has. We've had some nice days. We so. really have. I got to spend um, a good portion of the day on Sunday outside, which was really nice. Oh, that is good. Yes. I yes, think, yes, yes. I think what I did Sunday, I can't even remember. It was such a gorgeous day. I was like, Hung over, I had like a yarn hangover. A yarn hangover from the truck show. <laughs> <laughs> I had to venture out because Corbin had lacrosse. Oh. So off I went. I'm trying to think if I did anything or went anywhere. I don't it was think a I did. Beautiful day to be outside. Yeah, I think I took the dog outside mm. and we sat and just hung out. Hung for out. A while. Yeah. yeah, that's so nice. It's nice when you can just wash yourself in the sun. Did and you not, say wash yourself? Yeah. <laughs> like washing myself with yeah. sunshine. Well, hey, Some you know, it's the same thing as bathing, right? <laughs> bathing in the sun. Yes, I'm true. <laughs> Very true. You are correct. Yeah. Yep. Are we early? I feel like we are um, we early. Is that why? I don't think so. Well, it's oh, 11 we are. or a few minutes. That but never happens. Mm, I know. I know. It never happens. There's extra time. We today. do. Yep. We do. People are like, oh, we got at least 10 minutes before Jess and Cheryl come on. <laughs> yeah, right? No kidding. No kidding. Um, it's also school vacation week, I think, in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts, yeah. So, I mean, not that Massachusetts <laughs> makes up a small part of the country, but it might be in other places, too. I think, that that's, other I think a lot of the country has yeah. the same vacation weeks. Yeah. I think like New Hampshire is one of the only ones that does it. has like, like a off. weird time. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people might be traveling this week. Yeah. And I think even some districts in New Hampshire have it the same week as mm. Mass. Yeah. And we, I don't know. So New Hampshire is just wonky, I yeah, guess. Yeah. We're always, we're always opposite mm. land in this part of the state. Yes. But, um, Ooh, well, gosh, I still feel a little like, woo, like, Still coming off of my Stacy stitches high. I know, yarn woozy. I do. That was so fun. Oh we had such gosh. a good time. Oh, so awesome. Man. Yeah, there were so many people. If you happen to be watching and you came to the trunk show Saturday, thank you. Yes. It was great to see you. It was so fun. Yeah, we had yes. a blast. Oh, I love that place. Yeah. I like dream about going back very soon. I know. <gasps> I could have bought so much oh God, more I, than I did. Not only could I have so bought much. so much more than I did, I could have stayed there for just so much longer. Oh yeah, it was so comfortable. Oh, Show I your mug. It. Oh, my Stacey's Since stitches we're talking mug. about Hi, it. Hi, Becky. Hi, Mom. Oh, hello, Becky. So How my are you? Stitches hey, mug. I'm so excited. Isn't I love cute? it. Just got so a souvenir. Oh. Yep. Stacy oh, Stitches. I'm totally jealous. She had her it. fancy mug, so I had to bust out my, my fancy, fancy mug, mug yes. so I could feel mm. better about myself. I'm not kidding. I loved that mug shop. envy. Yeah. And you know what the coolest thing about it was, for me, as a crocheter, mm -hmm. is that's her forte. Right. So to have uh, somebody who's a crocheter, and she features her own stuff there, and yeah. oh, God, I just was in heaven. Yes. Yeah, she so spoke if you're my in language. the area, unfortunately, she doesn't really sell online because there's just things with that in a yarn shop. Yeah. But if you happen to be in the area mm. and you are a crocheter, she is a great store. I mean, she's great no matter who you are. But yes. if you want to support somebody who is, you know, like-minded and you want to chat crochet, um, yes, she's the one to go yeah. to. And she's, she's so nice. She's so nice. She's so yeah. fun. And yeah. she has... um. She has knitters working for her too. Yes. So she can cover all the bases yes. for anybody. Yeah. But she is just so lovely. Yes. And we had such a great time. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. I was just going to say, did we say hi to Amy yet? We did not. We did now. I don't even know what's going on. I feel on. like mine is a little. You guys always get my armpit. It was fine, and then it wasn't fine. It's, it was fine until it wasn't it's fine. It's not a Facebook Live if we don't see Jess's armpit at the beginning. <laughs> or end. Or at some point. You know what's the funny? The entire live. It's feed. like. If the, um, you know how 
you guys know how when if you go to it like a Facebook page and before the video starts there's like that static picture it'd be funny it's funny that none of them have actually have been, been my armpit, armpit. Yeah. crazy enough since it happens so <laughs> often way too often it's okay with all my technical savviness yep you guys oh, the yarn ball I was is about back to say that how look at how full and beautiful yes, it is we've uh, we've uh what what's the word we've re restocked restocked i guess i can't think today i'm so I don't sorry know. i can't i want to think of a really fun like name yeah. to say but mm -hmm. i'm I know. I'm like it's restocked. We just go with basic words today. Oh, I'm all over the place. Although um, I did come up with a couple of good names. Oh yeah, yeah. Just named some of the the cotton in the shop, and she came up with some really cute ones. I'm gonna have Yay. to ask you to do more naming for me because those were really adorable. You got it. So we have a lot of stuff. Where I have a lot. Jesse has. You. Have, I have a bit. I think I just called you Jesse. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's fine. I, there are people out there who do call me Jesse. Uh, I oh, will really? answer to it. Yes. Wow. Just because it's not. Yeah. Mm. But no, yeah. I, there are. Well, that's good. Plenty. Oh. Uh, I think. Maybe I'll switch it up. My, so my best friend Robin, her daughter, mm -hmm. calls me Auntie Jesse. Oh. Yeah. That has a nice ring so, to it. Yeah. People called me Sherry for years. I was Sherry. Wait. You do not strike me mm -hmm. as a Sherry. Did I you like Maybe Sherry? when I was younger and skinnier, then I looked more like a Sherry. <laughs> Maybe Sherry's are young and skinny. Did you like being called Sherry? It was just that's what people called me. Ah, so, so, it was, it was, yeah, so it was cool. Yeah. I feel like you'd punch me in the throat if I called you Sherry. No. I, 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 nobody's called me that in a long time, so I probably <laughs> wouldn't even, I'd feel like, assume you're talking to someone else, unless it was only the two of us, and I'd be like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I, I really don't care, but nobody calls me that now, so. Yeah. Hmm, whatever. So we have a lot of stuff. We do have a lot of stuff. I'm super excited. Me too. What do you want to start with? Do you yeah. want to start with what we got at Stacy Stitches, and then move on from there, or do you want to save that, or what? I'm uh, cool with either way. I don't know. <gasps> All right, let's start with Stacy's okay. Stitches stuff. Okay, let's do that. You yes, I'm indecisive today, so you make the decision. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. So, oh my God, you guys, we got a lot. I got a lot of stuff. Um, I'll it's do. Awesome. You know what I'll do? I'll do the my yarn and palms, and then okay. you can do that, okay. and then I'll show my thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You guys have no clue what. We're that's okay. <laughs> We're just laying this all out. We don't. Behind the scenes. Yeah. <gasps> I didn't realize you got that. Oh, yeah. You guys, I got some fun Ooh. stuff. I'll show that one first. Okay. All right. So I got some Malabrigo uh, fingering weight. Oh, gosh. Is this not stunning? No kidding. Serious. I <gasps> don't know what to make with it. It is. I think it's going to go in a shawl. Yeah. Or it feels like it know. needs to go with something super special because yeah. it's just so pretty. Like I don't want to just make socks out of it. Can I feel it? Yeah, mm. it's nice. I mean, it's, it's so nice. It feels like you would expect. Of course. I don't know what their content is. Maybe like an eighty twenty or seventy five twenty five. I will look for you. I will look for you and tell you that. I do not have any idea because they do not look does good. not tell us. Oh, that's weird. It does not say. Hmm. Well, it's something. It it's yarn. It says it's sock. <laughs> I don't know what the fiber content is. And 440 yards. And it's That's made weird. in Peru. Peru. Peruvian. It doesn't, Peruvian. it doesn't feel like Peruvian wool. It's not toothy at all. No, um, no, no. It no. is soft. It feels like an 80-20 or a 75-25. Mm -hmm. And it's got like a high twist, right? Kind of. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's got like it's like got a good twist to it. So mm. it is gorgeous and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. And then I got some worsted weight. This is worsted, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you threw me through a loop getting some worsted. I know. I don't usually get worsted. No. Or any heavier weight. I was gonna get I wanted maybe DK, but there wasn't really any hand dyed DK. Oh. Um yeah. and nothing for the more commercial stuff spoke to me. Yep. Um, it was just a small, a little bit of a smaller selection. So I got some Lewin Boon in this like cool blue, like mm. denim, um, with kind of like rusty speckles. Yeah, it's pretty. It is pretty. Um, I liked it a lot. Oh, it's super soft. Yeah. It's going to be a hat. Yep. It is soft. It is. What does it say? Superwash. Um, Marina. 
215 oh. yards, 100 grams, 100 percent. Okay, super wash merino. Yeah. So so pretty. Very nice. And then I think I'm going. So it's going to be a hat, and I got a couple pom poms. These are smaller than the ones that Jess does. Yeah. Um, but they had some cute colors, so I could not resist. Look at this, like, it's like black, I guess, underneath. Yeah. And then, I or like a dark charcoal. These colors. And then like a light gray, and then, and then with this like orange tip. Yeah. Uh, look yeah. at that. Isn't it's that like awesome? A like a copper, rusty, I don't Yeah, a copper, that's yeah. a great word it's very pretty it's very pretty and very soft it's a little smaller but i'll show you like, a like this is this is one of jess's big pom-poms and this is so you can see it's yeah quite a bit smaller but i'm gonna i'm gonna use it with this because this is the blue with the like rusty speckles mm. so i think that'll it's very pretty look nice and this like dark charcoal inside it's almost, got a little bit of green too it could almost to me like I could almost call that navy. It's, I was gonna say I think it is navy. It's not. It's one of those colors where it's like probably depending on what light you're looking yeah. at, and it could be anything. But yeah, it does look like it has a little green. It does. Like right where it transitions. It's like right here. Yeah. Before it gets to that ruddy orange. Yeah. So well, I thought I'm these look cute together. Find that. That's pretty. Yeah. That might be a good like fall line. Yeah. It, this is a fun. It's just different, and I love these copper. Mm -hmm. uh, tones. Mm -hmm. So that was my second acquisition. And mm -hmm. hey, Brianne, how are you? Hi, Brianne. Good morning. Uh, Brianne's in California. Did I say hi so to my mom? Morning. Hi, mom. You did. I did. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm in a fog today. I know. I don't know why. I don't know why. We were totally fine. We were there. until we hit go. And then I'm like, I don't know. We got uh, like yarn uh, stupid. Some stuff is here. I'm just going to say things. it's the yarn that like we get. It's a yarn coma. We get yarn drunk. Yeah. So then the last thing, well, not the last thing, but the last thing I'm going to show right now is it's Cascade. Oh, this is so pretty. And it's called Luminosa. So I love this. I think this has been around for a little while, but if you haven't seen it, it almost has like a metallic. Yeah. Not a thread going through it. I don't. Like tape almost. It's just. Like, it's like the that actual that fiber stuff? looks metallic. Yeah, but it's like woven. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like... That's my dog, you it's, guys. It's he's not, in the room with us. in the room. It's not like spun. It's like woven. Yeah. It's almost like a... I don't know. It's pretty. I don't know. Can you see? I'm going to hold it up real close. I'll hold it up. That's what it looks like. It's very pretty. I got this for it's my daughter. Like so, Liana, it. if you're watching, this is going to be yours. Nice. And I don't know... Uh, maybe it'll be like a one skein shot, like a rain out or something. Just something simple that'll let the yarn kind of sing yeah. and do its thing. Yeah. Let the yarn do the talking. Yeah. Um, what is it, though? It's alpaca? Yeah. Yeah, it's 44% baby alpaca, 52% uh, viscose, and 4% merino. It's very pretty. So you can see it kind of, I don't know if you can see, it has a bit of a halo to it. Um. But it's it beautiful and it's, it's very so soft. So pretty. I love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think a shawl, mm -hmm. not like a hat, because it's um, yeah too soft. Like I feel like it would be maybe too drapey for a hat. Yeah. Um, oh, it's so soft, too. isn't it? No, yeah, you definitely don't yeah. want to do a hat with this. You yeah. want something really right. Yeah, something like something that might be nice against your skin. Yeah, like a cowl or, yeah. or yeah. a yeah. skin shawl or something. I think a cowl actually would be beautiful. Yeah, that could be really nice. I think that one would be your yeah. best bet. Yep. Um, so pretty. And then I got this other oh pom-pom. You guys, isn't that a this color like you hair got or something? Alpaca. I think I got alpaca in Just my mouth. Jess is tasting the yarn today. She's like, it looks good enough to eat. <laughs> like Yukon Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. Uh, Sorry, I know the last thing people want to think about is Christmas specials, but. Right, but hey, what are you going to Hey, it's how I roll. Yep. It's almost time for Christmas in July. So I yes. love this color. This color is like my So dad. pretty. And look at, we look good with like this. Yes. I need something. to find, see, I need to find both of these in. The fabric it's like that so and I can make it so soft sorry as I made it all like I love I this. had to go and touch it I don't have anything <laughs> to like uh, I think I'm gonna do something in gray I think I'm gonna do like a mm. like a tonal gray Ooh. Uh, oh you know what I could do what could you do 
Oh. What do you guys think about this? This is the Lorax. Can you, I don't know if you can see the sparkle on that. Sparkle. But it's got sparkle. Got like a that like silver gray mm. with this. Doesn't that look nice? Yes, it does. I think yes. I might do that. Oh gosh, that's so like. I'm just stealing all my own yarn. Like chic. Yeah. I love it. So I don't know if you can. If the sparkle shows up uh, at all. Which yarn were you just holding with the palm? This one. To Game of Thrones on the run. Brianne's talking about going running. <laughs> I'm, well, yeah, good. Game of Thrones and running, that's perfect. Yeah, Brianne just started the uh, book series, so oh, it's exciting. Nice. Um, this is, I'm going to show this in a minute, and actually I have to grab the bags again, but this is going to be a kit. Where's the bag? Um, right in that cubby. The sample one is oh, okay. in that cubby. Okay, I'll grab uh, it. Thank you. You're welcome. It's uh, a, ba a bag kit. Brian okay. made some bags and I wasn't, I wanted to make some changes to the first batch that I did. So I re-dyed it. So it was supposed to release earlier. Was she, and, um, sorry, I don't know if Laura was talking about this one. Oh, it could be. That. Were you talking about this one? Well, she Laura? said with the pom-pom. Which arm were you holding with the pom-pom? And I was holding this first. Oh, okay. Sorry. So I think this is the one. Oh, um, again, I'm in a yarn coma and I just don't know what's going on. <laughs> Don't yeah, pay attention yeah, to one. me. So, okay. thank you. So it's going to be a kit with yes. this bag, and this will be. I'm going to have this in the shop this week by the end of the week. I mean, hopefully Friday I'll launch it. Mm. Um, but it will be just a kit until the until um after, just like always. Yes. Yep. Um, so pretty. It's a Japanese knot style bag. It's a large bag. It can yes. hold many skeins of yarn. Yep. It's reversible. It's got the lovely little zipper. It's got a zipped pocket. Zipper pocket. Can't beat that. The pocket is Love mine. it. It's gorgeous. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. So mm. I will have this in the shop with the yarn as a kit, uh, hopefully Friday. I think I'm going to. Oh, Laura said she loves it. Thank Aww. you. Um, it's so pretty, and the colors are yeah, spot on this, like, to oh, match that bag. This spot bag you, kills me with these colors. You nailed it, it with yeah. that. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I love it. I love this bag so much. So pretty. Um, and I love the colors. And I think I might be waking up people. She's coming alive. I'm coming alive. I think I'm, this is going to go out to newsletter subscribers first. Okay. So if you're on the newsletter, keep an eye out on Friday because the quantities, I think we only have like 15 of the kits. Oh, wow. So yeah. if you want Those one, uh, I'm going to make it available to newsletter subscribers first. And then if any are left, then I will put them in the shop. So I love it. So pretty. So sign up if you have it, and you can also yes. grab your coupon code when you Ooh. sign up too. It is very spring, Barbara. Yeah. Very the pom pom spring. won't be with the kit because no. this I bought for myself at the yeah. shop. But at Stacy's. Yeah. Yeah. It's called. Uh, Barbara said so. Spring. It's called Think Spring. Is the name of the mm -hmm. yarn in the kit. Think Spring. Think Spring. Because that's what I thought too. It's so springy. It's so springy and pretty. All right, so that's it for what I'm going to show okay. right now. So I'll show my haul from Stacy Stitches, which was um, I went straight for the. Um, this oh, is awesome, me. you guys. This is so cool. Yeah. yeah. I went straight for the t shirt yarn. So I picked up. That's so spring. Yeah. I picked up a yellow, almost like a gingham yellow, mm -hmm. and a tonal gray. So pretty. So I have my three. If I can get that <laughs> it's up. Like, it's like super bulky. It's big. They're huge. It's, yeah. So I got these, and I have a super special project I'm going to work on. I think I, uh. And it's called Zap Getty, like spaghetti, but with a Z. Spaghetti, yeah. Uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Z B. But it's recycled Z -B -A. cotton, Z -B -A. which I like the whole yeah. reuse, rethink, recycle. That's yeah. kind of. I'm really, that's near and dear to me. I, but they had My Little Pony at the shop. Yeah. Like if you unraveled Elsa. it, you can kind of see. Yeah, and Elsa. That was so cute. Oh, God, I loved it. So yeah. if you can kind of see a little bit, like, how thick. You use probably about a um, a P hook, yeah. I want to say, somewhere around there. To It's like a 12 to 15 millimeter hook that you use to crochet with this. or. Yes. Uh, did they say 12 to 15 needles? 12 to 15 needles. I think was recommended. They didn't say it's on the needles. They just said 12 to 15 millimeter. Yep. Was I'm just what? looking right here. Yeah. 
most patterns I saw had. Yeah, 12 millimeter. Yep. Okay. So you use a pretty big. Um, it goes hook. fast. It and works up quick. I um I had some pretty um hot orders to get out this week, so I couldn't get started on this, but I'm really yeah. excited to. So this is it was quite affordable. This is affordable yarn. Yes. It wasn't it's not super expensive. And I'm really excited to um to make well, I don't want to yeah. say because what if I don't make it? Oh well that's okay. You can what change your like, mind. What People, if it like start it and I'm like, oh they're not gonna hold they're not Lord. gonna hold they it might, to it and might. be like you no, um, said. So I think I'm gonna do a poof. Like one of the like you can either sit on it yeah. or put your feet up on it or Something along those idea. lines. So I, I think it would yeah. be great in my um in my craft room. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um if my kids or my daughter doesn't steal it on me. Yeah. But I'm thinking that I will start with my gingham mm -hmm. and then fade into my yellow. Yeah. And then fade into my gray. Yeah. I think that's a good call. And so the gray will be on the bottom, so it'll be the one that kind of gets put on the floor a lot and yeah. moved around and mm -hmm. and all that so I'm thinking gray might be my best bet but the yeah. gray is like it's the tonal of it I think that I can really work it with that yellow yeah oh it's gonna be so so I'm very excited I very excited it. I think it's gorgeous so I think that'll look really yay. good together yay so I'm wow. really excited to do that yep. and start that awesome hi Lori hey, up Lori. Online. how are you yeah. how are you doing today Woohoo! so so that leads us to I Cheryl. also bought some of the t-shirt yarn. I got three bobbins. They call it bobbins. Mm. I got three bobbins as well. Yep. Um, and I already started working with mine. So I'm going to show you what I've made. But first I'll show you the yes. colors I got. So I got, excuse me, I got two of these. Yeah. Which is, it's getting blown out. It's like a blue, it's like a cream with blue and yellow like flowers on yeah, it. Yeah, so pretty. Um, and it's by Hooked. Yep. Yep. Hooked. It's that spaghetti. Yep. Yeah, spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> yep. Because I think it's like um, I forget where it comes from, but it's like an yeah, international. Brand. It is. It's it's yeah. I forget where though. I, um, and I did see it. I looked it up online, and I did see it like from like craft stores and stuff, but. I only was able to find Portugal. Okay. I was only able to find solids. Like so Oh like yeah. Stacy had all of the she had had a ton bunch of, of prints. patterns. Yeah. Yeah. And I was only able to find solids online. So um, another reason to go to Stacy's. But I fell in love with this color. Mm. So I Hi, two Melissa. Of these. And then excuse how this one looks because <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world, people. I started using it and I actually found that it is a little bit different this one is stretchy yeah. and this one that I got is not it's more like a cotton it's very yeah just not stretchy yeah so and this one's a little bit thicker so I started using this with this oh sorry stabbed you no it's fine and um and I found that the gauge was a little bit bigger so I'm gonna make something else with this so I put that aside and made a big mess <laughs> when I pulled it out uh, but so when I started was a rug so funny because Doreen and was like bath mat Doreen had said um bath mat uh, yes so funny exactly. you should mention bath mat yep. Doreen so I think I'm gonna put this in my bathroom uh oh I guess I didn't um join it yet so I'm crocheting this so pretty this is what I have so far it's so thick so that was from yep. this hooked spaghetti yeah um yarn fabric cotton yep. this is what i have left of that bobbin wow so i mean i still have yeah. probably a couple more rounds that i can do yeah and then i so think i'm gonna pretty. keep going um i think the pattern only costs for like maybe two more of these like repeats but i think i'm going to use my whole other yeah thing and make it really big we're actually showing the back yeah the yeah. under this is the under yeah there we go so this is this is a so free pattern pretty. I found on Ravelry. And I think it's called like one marvelous mandala rug or something. Something like along that. those lines. And it was free. It was free. You needed a little bit of assistance. Yeah, I had to call Jess because I got stuck and I'm like, what does this well, even mean? It wasn't really your fault. Yeah. Yeah. It had 
some weird direction. I probably, we can probably put this down and not be talking behind it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it had some directions that, as I'm not that much of a crocheter, um, I was like, what are they? They changed the way they, they, they said it one way. Yeah. And then, like, several worlds in, they changed their terminology to mean the same thing. Right. So I they they weren't consistent in yes, their directions. The Thank you. Yeah, it's yes. way much totally more fine. Concise way to say. <laughs> <laughs> they were just they they yeah. started off one way and then changed it to another. And yes. So it just made it a little confusing. Yes. But even at that, I was like, what? Why? What? Right. Like what? And once just explained it to me, I was like, okay. And then going forward, because it goes back and forth through the whole pattern. Yeah. Doing it, saying it one way, saying it a different way. My husband said I should make it into a floppy hat. Oh, nice. I just sent out a floppy hat. <laughs> so that would be heavy. Heavy it on is, your head. It is quite heavy. It's very so heavy. I probably wouldn't actually recommend it. Oh my it gosh, now, that's so funny. This is two maybe like two hours worth of work. It that's wasn't not bad. Like it would take a hundred years for me to knit. <laughs> <laughs> Instant gratification. Yeah. So I mean I think I worked on it for like two nights mm. for just a little while. I am using a 10 millimeter hook because that's what I had. I don't have much crochet uh, accoutrements. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that's so, fancy. Uh, it called for a larger hook and I was like, well, no, I'm going to use the smaller one because that's it's fine. It's what I do. I just make do with what I have. It's fine. And it still works. Yeah, it works fine. I like the the tension yep. or whatever I'm getting it is the size hard yep. on my arm because you can't just like do this right it's, it's not light more like a full body experience yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I'm workout. super excited to start mine but yeah it's gonna be a workout yeah so I mean it's it's enjoyable because it works up so quickly mm. but my I don't have a ton of upper yeah body strength. <laughs> so no. Uh, so I'm only doing it a little bit at a time but I'm enjoying it I'm not rushing it's, through it I love it so, I love it I love how it's coming out yeah. And once I start on mine, I'll show you guys my progress, too, because I'm yeah. sure it's not going to be um, very fast. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just because it is it is heavy. Yeah. And I think after a while, it's going to be like, whoa. Right. Plus, I don't have a pattern, and I'm kind of winging it. So. Right. <laughs> so it might be start, frog, start, frog. Yeah, we'll, right, we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah. But sometimes that's fine, you know. Well, it is if I'm not playing, I, like, I don't know how much I have. like I don't know how much yeah. I'm going to need for yeah. that project. Well go to their website and yes. you'll get an idea of what they recommend for their pattern. Yeah. And then you'll you'll know. And then I'll wing. I think you have enough. I think I have enough too. I think yeah. no matter what it'll have something. Um, uh, is this the yes, Brian, that is the pattern. Brian just posted nice. the link to the what it was it called? The gorgeous mandala yeah. floor rug. That yep. is the one. And if anybody gets confused, don't hesitate to um, message me. Yeah. I can help you through it. Yeah. You might get to have the same question I had, but once you <laughs> understand it, then you can just, what, cause it's, it just repeats. Once you get through like the first section, mm. then it just repeats over and over again. So right. once you understand it, then you just fly along. Yeah. It's fine. Becky said her and her mom always have knit versus crochet races and crochet always wins. I bet. <laughs> I bet. It's like the time I asked Jess how long it takes her to make a dishcloth. It took me like two hours and I thought I was like killing it. And I was like, well, how long does it take you to crochet one? And she was like, eh, about 15 minutes. <laughs> crazy. It's I so know. Funny. Like jerk. Oh, hello. I mean, Sam. also she's a fast crocheter, so um I'm sure it might take somebody else longer. Yeah. Than well, and really it depends on how time. involved and uh yeah, you know, yeah. if you're doing something that's a bit more involved or if you're doing just a quick like right, just single yeah. crochets or whatever. I have a new friend. I know. My dog Simon is here with us today. Uh, normally he's not in the room with us, but He's a chihuahua, and he does not, um, he's very shy around people. He does yeah, not appreciate strangers. Up, but I'm afraid he'll, like. Call, just call him up and see if he'll what? jump up on you. He might just jump up. Come on, Simon. Um, Come on. There he Whoa. is. Whoa. I have a friend. I have a friend. I'm so excited. Yes. So he Simon's, like, me. for the first time, letting Jess, like, touch him. Yes. And ever. he's like all about the loves from her. Yes. It just takes him a while to warm up. Once he warms up, then 
then he's hi buddy he's doing good he's like hi don't bite my face doesn't he have a sweet he's like you just love this thank you you don't sweet baby so anyway this is simon my little weirdo chihuahua my other one is uh visiting my mom he's not he's a very sweet boy he's super sweet he's, he's my super new, snuggle he's bug. my new friend yeah he's a good one he's my new yeah. friend he's like three we years made old. friends just today yeah Although if, if she looks him in the eye, he he'll probably to, like freak out. He still like barks. At I, I, although I do kind of wonder if I'm just the obstacle to get to mom. Probably. He's like, <laughs> I want to come see my mama. He's like, you're okay at best. And now he'll probably be like, I hate you. I'm a crazy mom dog. You got mom dog? Dog mom. I Hi. hold him like a baby. Don't bite my face. <laughs> I want to like smooch him all up, but I'm afraid that he'll bite my lip. Yeah, he's off. feeling, he's feeling. Yeah, I probably wouldn't put just because you never know. But you never know. He, um, he's he's feeling pretty happy. Next thing you know, Facebook Lives go goes like massacre. Oh my god! Can and, you imagine? We're like rushing it, to turn off. You know off what though? Blood. It would probably be the most views we've ever had ever. <laughs> Chihuahua goes <laughs> wild and bites woman's face off right. during knitting oh, podcast. No. It'd be like <laughs> it would go viral. Wouldn't that be that would be our big break? Am right. I willing to lose a lip over our big break? Yeah, maybe if you decide you don't care about your face anymore, we'll <laughs> give it a whirl. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. What it, whatever it takes to go big. Exactly, right? Oh, my gosh. That's we're, so we're funny. We're that committed, you guys. Yes, we are that committed. We're, we're ready to have Jess going to have to get a lip transplant. Oh, God. Um, all right. Well, okay. go next and show sure. whatever you want to show. Um, well, I'll quickly show my finished objects like because it kind of okay. loops together with um with the big sunday day with the bunny coming sure so i posted the other day my um my little bunny washcloths so i have cute. i brought that with me today to show and so these are available ready to ship mm -hmm. and i have matching solid cotton right? just on cotton matching solids nice and squishy so pretty i'll bring them up a little closer so you can see yeah. they're nice and thick so i have those available yeah. in my shop i'm sure with like two day shipping if you're far away we could still get them to you in time yeah so but yeah. they're so cute they are so cute and they're just very spring like yeah i love the colors they're I pastels and so pretty yeah so i have those for for Easter, yeah, I I'm like wicked behind the ball on Easter. I haven't even started making um, any Easter baskets, which is just ridiculous. I don't have to make any Easter baskets this year or anything. I like gotta that. fill All eggs. Done. I gotta fill eggs. I gotta hide eggs. Actually, mm. I'm that mom. Like, okay, so for years. Instead of giving candy, we yeah. just get rolls of coins, right? And we stick them in. We used to do that too. The um. Because they get enough. They get enough candy. Right. So we stick them in the uh, plastic eggs. Yeah. So the first couple of years when my daughter was super little, we filled the eggs. And then the Easter Bunny picks a golden egg, and that gets like a $5 bill or whatever. Yeah. So what, what I started to do, because they see that we reuse the eggs. So right. how do you get around that? Right. So I used to tell them that... You probably so, should have adult warned that we're gonna. Oh kiss yeah, sorry. Kids if you have any no kids, kids, don't. <laughs> so what Put I your earmuffs on. So what I end up doing is, is I take all the eggs out, and yeah. um, my kids fill the eggs. Oh nice. So they fill the eggs, and then we leave the eggs out because yeah. the Easter Bunny cannot help himself, right? But to hide the eggs. Oh. So it well as Easter bunnies do. Yes. So I um yeah, I, yeah, it's how I get out of having to stuff all the eggs. <laughs> right. I'm like, oh guys, no, fill your own eggs. That is they each have genius. And they so they leave them out and then the Easter bunny comes and hides all their eggs for them and brings drops their baskets yeah. off. You know, I'm sure that's very helpful to the Easter bunny because you know he's got a lot of houses to he visit. He does. Um and that's what I said. I'm like, let's be efficient for the Easter bunny. He's yeah. got a lot of houses to hit and not a whole lot of time to do this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to make Easter sure you bunny, get some good stuff. I think the Easter Bunny wants a glass of wine <laughs> at night. Right, he wants to be able to relax for a little while. Just a little bit. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he's got a lot of hopping around to do. It really does. <laughs> All I think of is um, the Looney Tunes. 
Did um, you ever see the Looney Tunes when Bugs Bunny is the um like the Easter, Easter Bunny? Bunny? Yeah, he has like the basket, and, and he's and he sings, "I'm the Easter Rabbit, hooray!" <laughs> Just an Easter <laughs> Rabbit, <laughs> hooray! Oh, that's so funny. I don't remember so, that. <laughs> you don't remember that? And then he goes into like the baby gangster's house. Oh gosh, it's one of my favorites. Anyways, so YouTube it. every time I every time the Easter Bunny mm -hmm. is going to make his appearance, we're always singing singing the song. Yeah. That's but, fun. But so my kids build their own eggs. Yeah. Well, that's good. And the Easter Bunny, because it's much, he's mischievous, yeah. hides them. Nice. So it keeps me from having yeah. to do it. Makes perfect sense. Like, yep, I'm that mom. Yeah. Um, that's good. So I finished the bunny hat that I talked about last week it's for so a customer. Mm -hmm. um, she's doing a Easter 5K. So she had sent me a picture of what she was looking for, and so I did my best to accommodate. She picked the colors and picked the pom-poms. So this is what we have. I'll put it up here so that people up there can see it. But So this is what we've got going on. Isn't that so cute? Look at those pom-poms so on the ears. She wanted the little pom-poms and the ears to be colorful and bright. So they're my multicolor mm -hmm. faux fur palms. And then, um, yeah, so she sent me what she was looking for, and this is that's exactly adorable. it. I think that should go in your shop. Not that one, obviously, but <laughs> like, for not like this one. Year, She'd probably be like, mm, that's a good, like, that's fun, especially like for kids and stuff, too. That's so I thought that was super hat. cute. So it yeah. was fun to make. It was yeah. definitely fun to make. So I like it. I want to wear it. <laughs> So, it's like you just don't. How do you not want to put that on your head? It's I know so it's so cute. <laughs> so he's yeah. yeah. And Cheryl shared her her little. Uh, I'm like my head I'm just asked me. She comes over I'm, and she says, "Do you have a head? Do you have a head I can borrow? Do you have a head? I'm like, of course I have a head. I've got two heads. I've got a foot too. <laughs> I'm like only Yarny friends would know when somebody comes into your house. Do you have a head? Or do you have any body parts I can I can borrow right? from you? Sure. I've so, got a whole basket full. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, hey mom, my mom just joined. Yay! Uh, so that's my finished stuff for this week. I'm all uh, over the place. What do you got? You got um, anything finished? Yeah, I'm going to put Simon down. Look at him. He's just like, I don't want to go. He, he can tell when I'm going to put him down and he starts to get like, no, come he, on. he limp bodies on you. Do yeah. you want me to take him? Oh, all right. Get out right. There you go. Get out of here. All right. So. <laughs> here you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. I've got enough of you, kid. You're bothering me. Get out of here. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's my sweet baby. Don't let me fool you. He yeah. is like. He so is. She has a sling for him. Don't let her fool I you. I do. I have a sling and he like just, I carry him around all day. And Sometimes he likes, we go he to like cradles office. in there. Yeah. He just, so. yeah, he burrows in it, goes to sleep. Like it's a, a kangaroo pouch. We lost him. That's all right. Um, I think he's. He's probably under your seat, like, why yeah. don't you want like, me? Why? <laughs> Poor little guy. He barely gets any love. None. Almost I've, none. Almost none. I've witnessed it. He's so ignored. He's, he's so underappreciated. Yeah. So I am using, oh yeah, he's right here under me. Yeah. I am using my bag from a kit Brianne and I did last I'm Halloween still bummed time. I missed out on that one. It's like this tulip pink De La Luna fabric. I love, I love this. And fabric. I loved the um, colorway you did with it. Thank you. And Brianne put my name on the inside I'm, and it's like sparkle. I saw that and I was like, <gasps> you can see that. You can see it up there. It's probably it's showing so up backwards. I don't fancy. Know. It I just I love I it. I love it. So I'm gonna show my um what month are we in? April? The, April. So I'm going to show the March mystery yarn. This was March. Right? No, that was April's. That was April. This was April? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know what day it no, was. No, March was Limerick. Okay, so I'm going to show the April mystery yarn, uh, this party top. Everybody should have yeah. received. Everybody should have theirs, um, but in case you haven't looked at it or you don't want to see what it looks like knit up or whatever, avert your gaze, look away, mm -hmm. do not look directly at your screen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> avoid yes. eye contact. Uh, I showed this last week, so but I I did not get it finished in time. I said I was going to try to wear it to the trunk show. I didn't get it finished, um, and so I knew it wasn't going to happen. So I kind of stopped putting so much pressure on myself because I was freaking out a little bit. But so it's pretty. almost finished. I have 
both the arms to the same place. I need to do like maybe two more rows and then um, and then the ribbing and the and then it will be done. So pretty. So I just gonna spend maybe a day or two more with it. Mm. Um, I love it. Yeah, I love my little part top. I like how the sleeves kind of pull. So I do too. You have it here on the side. And then you have I, it. I like it too. It kind of matches. Yeah. You know, you've got the same sort like of it. dynamic on both sides. So I love like it. I love like it. I love it. I love how the colors worked up. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys haven't seen it on the Facebook page, there's a link. Brianne also um, did a reveal video. So, and she talks and she shows some other stuff that she's made recently. So go catch that right. too if you haven't had a chance. Um, yeah, uh, it's pretty in person. I love it. So I love it. Too. We'll see. But like I said last week, I need to um, try to block it out a little bit longer because it cuts me off right yeah. in like my tummy tum tum. <laughs> in the tummy area. Yeah. Where and, most of us are like, yeah. I mean, it's not a part that of my body that anybody wants to be drawn attention to. <laughs> You know, you know, like you don't need your eye to go right to that. You know, oh we talked about this last week. Yeah, too. We did. like we're very secure with who we are, yeah. and we are what we are, and who yeah. we are, and what we have to offer the world. Yes. But we but also do not want to accentuate the parts that are not exactly exactly super duper flattering. And I think that goes for anybody, no matter yes. what size you are. You can be yes. really skinny, but there are parts that maybe you want to show off more than others. Yep. You know, yep. that's fine. Absolutely. Um, I did love knitting this. It, it was super fast. Mm. It only took it's a DK, four correct? skeins of DK. Yep. yep. Uh, hopefully I have enough. Let me show you what I have left. <laughs> it's a little dicey. Not going <laughs> to lie. A little dicey. There will be probably some yarn chicken. There may not be as much ribbing on the cuff as there. This is what I have left for each arm. That is cutting it close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but you don't use as much in knitting as crochet. So yep. this should go... I mean, I have like 12 more rounds and then a cup and then some knit and ribbing. Okay. The, the ribbing is quite long, but I'm just thinking mine, I'm just going to go till I run So is it a three-quarter sleeve? Three-quarter sleeve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So mine, instead of maybe going to here, might come to here. <laughs> I like that better though. So. I like it better when it's just, like yeah. when I pull out my sleeves, I always put them like just below my right. elbow. So that might be where mine stops. I think that's perfect. I think it's fine. I'm I totally think, fine with that. You ask me, that's perfect. I'm actually fine at the length it's at. Like right now, it's like right here. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah. That's cool. I um, think that's pretty. Totally, I think it'll be perfect. Totally. Oh, you know what I also got? Where are they? Oh, I kind of played a little yarn chicken this past week with, um. look at this pom-pom with us. Mm. That actually goes. Yeah, it does. Oh. With the sun hat I was making. Yeah. I, I was totally like, yeah, I don't really have enough. And I didn't even think about it. Mm -hmm. And I finished. I was I was actually like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Because it was, I needed to get it out by yesterday. Yeah. So that it could arrive in California. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. I wasn't thinking, and I was like, yeah, I totally have enough. Mm -hmm. And I ended up making the floppy part of the sun hat a little bigger than the original one I had made. Okay. Because I was like, oh, I just want it to be a little bit bigger. Right. And, um, yeah, when I started to get like, to the oh, bottom, no. I was like, oh, and I don't know what I would have, honestly, I don't know what right. I would have done right. because right. I, it had to go out the door. I had this much left. Oh my God. This much. I was like, That's oh like God, I won. And I did not say. have that like high, like, yeah. Right. I was like, oh God. Right. I need to go throw oh. up now. <laughs> oh God. I barely made it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cause it's one thing if you're just making something for the fun of it, but when you're right. or like making a commissioned yeah. item yeah, and it has to go out the door and yeah. And there was this person, and someone's leaving on vacation and, like, and that's why they wanted it. It was a right. children's sun hat and they were looking to have it for their vacation yeah. in Arizona. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Oh, Nelly. Right. Well, that's good. I'm glad it worked out. Cause yeah. That's awful. I was that freaking out. Terrible. Yeah. Um, a little bit. The only other thing I want to show real quick that I bought at Stacy Stitches is I got another set of needles. Oh, is it the the Knitter's Pride? Like these you are gotten? Knitter's Pride, but they're wood. Oh. They're the Knitter's Pride Dreams with hmm. a Z. I've never used these before. If anybody's used them, let us know what you think. Uh, I use exclusively 
almost um, metal needles. Yeah. Metal is my preferred. Yeah. Um, and Stacy Stitches only they carry wood, wooden needles. All their needles are wooden. So I the Addy Turbos I'm using for my sweater have a cord that is just oh yeah ridiculous. She does not like that no. cord, you guys. It's like kinked up and like bent. It's just a nightmare. So this cord, although it looks curly, it will straighten out once you yeah. use it. It straightens right out. Yep. Um, so feeling them, they actually feel really slick and smooth. So I'll probably like them just fine. Yep. Anything's better than what I was using though. Yeah. So and that was the only sixes. I want to say the only sixes I have. The only sixes I had available because the other ones are, are on other sweaters that I never finished. <laughs> and yet I don't <laughs> want to pull out. So, no. So I'm like, I just got to buy more needles. Yep. Well, that's always the answer. You yep. always buy more project bags when your project bags are full. Yep. And you always buy more needles right. or hooks right. when you... Yes. Heck, even if you don't have a project on them, yes. who doesn't need more? That's I the good thing about crocheting, time. though. Like, you, because it, your crochet hooks aren't tied up in a project. Like, I, you could take it out I know. and use something else. I know, but I'm always like, oh, look at these. Oh, look at these. Oh. But I'm just saying, with knitting, you literally can't. You're just like, no, I, can't I know. But it makes a great excuse to go out and get more because you're like, yeah, I have a project on those yeah. needles. Whereas for me, right. my husband's like, don't you have like five sets of these? And I'm like, but I don't have ones in pinks and purples. Right. Right. I have them in blues and greens. Right. I don't have some. I don't have any that are like polymer clay bees on the end of it. Uh, right. <laughs> I had a dream about that. Did you? <gasps> I. Oh, you reminded me. Oh, you got your things. I did, <gasps> and I brought them to oh, show you. Reminded exciting. me. Exciting. You guys. I bought. A, a, so Ann Tudor glass stitch markers. She's she hand makes them. And she had, because we oh, all know, so cute. aren't oh they adorable? God. So we all know that I'm wicked obsessed with the bees and stuff. And she had a bee colony. So, of course, I couldn't just, one, I had to get the entire colony. So, um, seriously, cute. if I can get these to work with me and not against me, like, look at the one with the wonky eyes. I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I am just so excited about these. And, that on and the it end, comes with like little a beehive. beehive. Um, the last one on the end is a little beehive. Oh, my God. I, you guys, I can't. I, you just reminded me when you talked about the poly, the polymer clay um, bee hook I have. And then I was like, oh, my bees came, and I almost forgot I to show you guys. Those are way cuter than even, like, the pictures yes. that she had. Those well, and I love that cute. they're all handmade, so you just, you never know what you're going to get. Like, they're all going to be similar, but they're not going to be exact. Right. And I just, I let's, I think I love that even more about them, that they're not exact. So I am so excited about these. And yeah. she put the, the new round clasps on them. Yeah. I'm going to take the little wonky eye guy off because he makes me happiest. That, I know. Oh, my God. So funny. Little googly eyes. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's the round clasp, so you can either use it as for um, knitting. Yeah, it's called a lever back clasp. And then it's got the, yeah for us crocheters to yeah. be able to hook on with. Or you can use it as a progress keeper as well. Yes. So. That's perfection. Isn't that amazing? So yeah. There's my little. Oh, I love him. I love him. Isn't he super cute? I just love him to pieces. Those eyes, you're right. I know, it's, it's like my crap. favorite. I love oh him. Oh my god. I love him. You should give him a name. I know. He's like special because none of the other ones are like him. Oh, this one's looking down. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Oh. Ah, these are so cute. They are so cute. Oh That's gosh, what I love, I love about them. like Anne's things is that, I mean, every single one, even within like one kit, is unique. You yes. know, they all have their own little personality. It's so cute. So I'll move my hand so you can see. Anne Tudor. Yeah. Does she it again. The best little packaging, too. She does such a good job. I love these yeah. so much. So if anybody's looking, and they're reasonably priced. Yeah. Oh, they I, are. I really she don't is, think that she charges a lot for these. She's and, very reasonably priced compared to some others yes. who I love as yes, well. Yes, me too. Um, but I, yeah. I will tell you that these are all handmade. Yeah. 
from glass. She yeah. torch, she torches the glass and she makes yeah. each one of these. So each of these is handmade. Yeah. If you go to her and, Instagram, she actually shows, she has some video of her doing, making that, like with yes. the torch and the sticks of glass. So oh, it's, it's super interesting them. to watch. Yeah. So cute. So yes, I'm very excited to use these, but I had to yeah. share it with everybody. Yeah. Oh no, I'm glad you did. They are adorable. I forgot that I brought those. And so nice too. She's such a nice She lady. really is. She's, mm -hmm. she's very, very sweet. Very sweet. Yep. We love her. Love her. And then we talked, or, oh, sorry. No, I'm just, no. no, I'm just getting my stuff. No, you go ahead because I, I wasn't sure if you had more stuff to show. I just have, I think, one more thing. Okay, you show your thing you and then sure? we'll talk. About, yep, because I was going to move right into the, from the ashes. So oh, okay, you, okay. You go ahead. All right. And this is just little, I have a sock that I started with the yarn that we're <gasps> doing in the kit. What is, which is, is this, this one yarn. of the minis? Yeah, I used oh. to, I had a leftover mini from the kits. Uh, sorry, is that one of these? Mm -hmm. It's the pink. It's this. It's this mini. You guys, I have mini kits coming to the shop. I have three and five skeins. Did I let the mini come out of the bag? Nope. No. Nope. show another one? Sure. They're all different. Um, like different yeah, combos. they're all different combos. There's but... some that are light and springy, and then a couple that have like a brighter, um, um yeah. Some darker colors, yeah. So there's going to be a bunch of different ones, and I'm super excited about the minis. Yes, I love yeah. the minis. And so I had one oddball left over when I put all these kits together, so I kept it for myself. And I thought, oh, that goes really well with the pink in this. It looks beautiful. In this yarn. It looks like you have I, dyed it to match. I know, and I totally didn't. You totally didn't. It was, um, um so. Oh, sorry, it's it okay. an accidental. Here's the sock okay. I started. Sorry, I've, oh, I've got my little, is it your sloth? My little sloth um, progress Hugging. keeper. Love it. Can you guys see him up there? You guys, if you're, most of you know, but yeah. if you, have, you don't happen to know, Jess and I are both live on our own pages, respectively. Yes. So we have a camera above and then mine below. Yes. So that's why we're like this. Up and down. Yeah. <laughs> we're so showing everybody. For anybody who maybe is watching for the first time, that's why we're doing that. We're not just being completely weird. That's so, why you get to see our armpits. That's the little sloth. So Here cute. He's like backwards, but anyway. That's, he's so cute. He's holding a little heart. He was like for Valentine's Day. I love this contrast. Me too. It brings out the colors in this yarn. Yeah. Like. That's what I thought too. Because you can so kind of see it amazing. better on the back, like the pink that's yes. throughout there. It's so pretty. So the back is just stockinette, and the front is this pattern. It's uh, the Coffee Talk socks. Oh, it is the Coffee. I was going to ask. Again, yeah. Yep. I really like the pattern. So it's pretty. It's a fun pattern. And I love the other sock I made. Mm. Uh, I'm doing, I do the leg half. So instead of my normal shorty, I'm doing half of what she does for her leg. Mm -hmm. And I did only 10 stitches, uh, 10 rounds for the cuff instead oh. of like, whatever she had is in the pattern. Yep. So I did a little bit of a shorter cuff, not much. Yep. And then I'm doing I, this is the leg. This is finished. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to start the heel in this pink. Oh, I love it. So I'll do I the heel in the pink. That pink. And the toe will be in the pink. Can I put it yep. next to? Yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I love the contrast. Yeah. I just, I love the contrast with it. Yeah, It's me so too. pretty. I thought, oh, that's perfect. It was like, it was made to be that they're yeah. meant to be when it was left over. So I love it. Um, I love this pattern, you guys. It is a fun, easy to remember repeat. Oh, that it's like, like that. just super potato chippy easy. You can watch TV once you do it a couple times. You're like totally fine. You're on your way. So I'm excited. I'm probably gonna start the oh, heel. Sorry, you guys. Just as I'm boring her. She's no, right no. I feel like time. I'm like I said. Okay, I'm in like okay. a yarn coma. It's I'm joking. joking. You're, you're great company as yeah, always. My sock is just so boring. So it looks <laughs> really small, but it actually isn't. I mean, yeah. uh, I'm they using stretch. the small size. Um, it, the pattern's written for small, medium, and large, and I'm knitting the small. Yeah. Little tiny so, feet. Yeah. I do have like, <laughs> I do have small feet. I have abnormally large so, feet for my height. No, you don't. What size should you take? I'm like a seven and a half, eight. That's not normally large. I'm a seven. Abnormally large. A 12 would be abnormally <laughs> large for your height. Oh. I'm a seven. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna yell at my husband then because he always says to me that I have flippers for feet. No, He's you like, don't. you have large feet for your size. No. 
No, seven is a pretty like average feet. woman's foot. Well, for my height. Six is small. Yeah. yeah. I'm the same height. That's not that big. Okay. It's not. It's a little bigger than yours. Not much, though. <laughs> I have to say, depending on the shoe, I, I think the shoes I bought that I wore to Stacey Stitches were seven and a half. Those are super cute. It's a, so depending on, most usually I'm a seven, but sometimes I'm a seven and a half. Anyway. I'm super in love. I love the pink. At first, I wasn't sure because I was like, "Oh, it's very different." But now I oh, love no, it. I love it. I now think it I looks. It. I think it looks yeah. amazing together. And I'm knitting them on size one. Your mom said that I'll love the wood needles because the stitches don't won't slip off easily. That's actually what I like about metal needles. I like that they're super slippery. Uh, That's why I don't love wood. Okay. I hate having to like. I hate that they don't just slide. Super easy. I like extra slippery oh, so Amy has tens she's like mine are clown shoes <laughs> but how tall are you but you Amy? must be tall Where you're probably she? tall she's like no i'm like four or five, four or five. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh gosh funny. um yeah no so, i love that collar combo i think it's awesome thank you thank you i like metal needles better too yeah. Oh, she prefers metal hooks. hooks. Yeah. Yeah, I have one wooden hook, and I don't use it very often. But I also feel like I'm going to snap it. Yeah. Because I'm a tight mm. crocheter. Yeah. And so sometimes I feel like I'm just going to. I've snapped pull. wooden needles, the nitpicks. I've snapped them mm. bing, right in half. Yeah. And I'm, not, and I'm not even a tight knitter. Yeah. But I've snapped them. Mm. These feel sturdier than the nitpicks if you've used nitpicks. Oh, she's five foot three. Oh, that's not bad. That's all right. <laughs> You're not four or five. <laughs> we still love you, Amy. <laughs> yeah. right. We should. We're almost freaking four or five. We're just right. barely five feet tall, so we're right. we're all short here. <laughs> <laughs> we're all short here. Um, You're in good company. Yeah, but these feel a lot sturdier than the nitpicks did. Oh, your thing just got like super blurry. There oh. we go. We went out of focus for a second. Yeah. Well, when I move abruptly, I think it does that. Mm. I don't know. It just it no won't. sudden movement. I know it doesn't keep up very well. Yeah. So we'll see. But I will say I haven't used my. I've been using my Knit Pro Zing needles, mm. and these Chagus are sharper oh, than those. Did you stab yourself repeatedly? <gasps> I like had, under the nail stab. No, like straight into my thumb. I had a big hole. Like just oh, and then I kept doing it, and it would like sent me through the roof. Like. You know, because you just have this really sensitive, like, bleeding. Oh, no. And then I'd forget, and I'd like, push it with my thumb. It was on my thumb, and I'd push it, and, like, right back into the oh, hole, you know. Like, I've done that with them um, when I'm making pom-poms. Oh. I started wearing, like, Band-Aids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not because I have any, like, my kids would be like, oh, Mama, you hurt. I'm like, no, no. it's protection. Because right. I'm pulling them so tight, I was oh. literally, like, sawing into my fingers yep. and and it always found the same little yeah niche. that same spot and I was like and plus I was getting calluses mm. and yeah I was like oh I don't know what's going on that's what I like do. I work with my hands right my beefy <laughs> hands <laughs> <laughs> remember we did that Christmas um the Christmas episode, and I think it was Michelle said we were talking about Alfie had your elf shirt, and she was like, "You smell like beef and yes! cheese." Yes, and I thought she was actually saying it to us. And we were like, "Smell a vision." Like, how do you know I smell like beef and cheese? <laughs> I mean, I do, but how did you know? Oh, that's so funny. I remember. Yes, that was so funny. Oh, and then I realized so she was quoting Alf. Alf, yes. Um, you should tell everybody about the 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 don't yuck my yum. Oh, our, okay. So that's our such house, a fun. So story. our our in our house we have a rule. And it goes kind of across the board. It started off with foods, but it kind of goes across the board. So we say it quite frequently. Mm -hmm. Whenever somebody has an interest or they like something, whether it's food or colors or whatever, and if somebody mm -hmm. else doesn't care for it, yeah, we um, will usually say, don't yuck my yum. <laughs> so we use that quite frequently so in my funny. house. So my son says it all the time. Like right. if, my, if he's talking about something and my daughter's like, ugh, because that's what she does right. all the time, um, even if she likes it, yeah, he'll turn around to her and go, don't yuck my yum. Or he'll say it like, don't yuck mom's yum. <laughs> don't yuck mom's yum. Yep, don't yuck mom's yum. That is a great saying. So we use that a lot. <laughs> And then we also talk about um, how my son's ears are for fashion and not for function. Oh. That's another one we say a lot. Like, what? oh, 
Ears are turned uh, off. They're for fashion, not for function. That makes sense. Yeah, they're just I think painted we all on. Can relate to that. Yes, with our kids. Yes. Um, so yeah, don't yuck my yum. Right. Uh, I'm reading Laura's comment. She said, "Oh, have you tried the the cubics, um, the cubic needles, the square ones?" Right. I I want to. I have it though. Oh. Oh, I've. They're supposed to be more like ergonomically oh. lay with your hands. Huh. Um, that's right. We're right. Ergonomic. Yeah. Yeah. And it's more comfortable and yep. yeah. So I haven't, but I've seen them. Although I don't know if you're, I don't know. You're saying cubes. I'm thinking of cubics, but maybe that's what it might be the same. Cause maybe it's yeah. called cubes. At, well, then um, she said, nitpicks. sorry, it's knitters pride, not nitpicks. So maybe oh. that's, it's, maybe it's the same thing, but I've been wanting oh. to try them. I'm looking at her. Um, I didn't know sometimes they'll say in the um, link mm. the name, but I didn't, oh, yeah. didn't say. Yeah, so I was just say. looking through, reading through. Yeah. That's why I'm like, right. Have you tried them, Laura? Do you like them? Or are you just wondering, uh, oh, yep, she tried them. In wood, wood and then traded them for metal because yeah. I like metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like metal, too. It, do they have metal in the in the square? Or? They must because she said she had them in wood and then traded them. Huh. That might be why I didn't try them because they were wood, and I thought, mm, that's cool, but I really like metal. Mm. You know, almost always if I have an option, buy metal. Yeah. Huh. So. But I'll let you know what I think of these because they do seem they do seem very slick. So maybe they won't be as sticky yeah. as normal would. I don't know. Maybe. Um, yeah. You'll so, have to keep us posted. Yeah. What you think. I will. Yeah. I will. All right. Well, what do you want to show your last thing? And then yes. we'll talk about our final thoughts because we're getting close. Yes. We only have a minute or two. So last week we had talked about doing um, a crochet along. Yep. And um, we were looking at the From the Ashes Shawl yep. by Rachie Newen. Yep. Um, I just bought my pattern. Mm -hmm. um, I think today might be the last day to get the mm. coupon code. So yeah. if anybody's thinking about joining the crochet along, we're going to start it April 29th. April 29th is a Monday. Yep. So I believe we're going to start it's it like then. two weeks from now, basically. Yeah. And um, today is the last day to get the... Um, is it 15% something like that? I can't quite remember the percentage, but you get a discount yeah. off of the new pattern. Yeah. And if you the, go to the Ravelry page, it says it right in the comments. Yes. So you don't get to go searching around. Just go to the Ravelry page for the shawl. Right. And you'll see. So that. it's, um, the coupon code is from the ashes mm -hmm. and the name of the shawl is from the ashes. And it's supposed to be, um, for anybody who's not an experienced crocheter, yeah. um, a fairly quick and easy project. And we figured we would, we kind of voiced out there, would anybody be interested in doing the crochet along? And yeah. a few of you were like, yes. So um, we figured we would do that. Yeah. So and I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to crochet it. Yay. And I talked to Rachie, and she said it was a beginner pattern. Like, I mean, you just, just said that too. But I mean, I talked to her, mm -hmm. and she goes, oh, no, this is for beginner beginners yes. and you and it's a one skein or a two skein so you could you know if you just have that one special skein yep. you could just do a one skein or you can do two so yep. it's super versatile and beginner friendly but it looks like certainly interesting enough for it's beautiful for anybody and laura says she tests oh, patterns nice. all the time. that's awesome laura i've seen i've seen that you do that I it's love, yeah, cool. she's, she is, I'm going to bring up a picture her shawls of her shawl. are gorgeous, and yeah. this is an easy, um, it's an easy shawl, yeah, which is really nice, yeah, well, I already bought is my what copy. she says, so I think it'll be a fun, um, project for all of us to do, um, yeah. so I picked my colors this weekend, and, um, purchased them, and I bought the pattern, and so I'm ready to rock, yeah. um, for the start of um, our cow. Yep. So here's, this is what it looks like, you guys. If we can get it, yeah. So it's so, it's very pretty. I know it's hard to see. Yeah. Maybe we can, we can put a, um, if you is. watch last week's uh, Facebook Live, just go back through the comments real quick, and there's links right to the pattern there. Yes. Um, so it's really well gorgeous. So Laura said that after testing many of her patterns, she's um, her patterns are really well written, and she is very responsive if you have questions. So that's yeah. great to know. Yeah. Um, and it's so fifteen percent off 
ends the end of the day today. Yeah. And the code is from, from the, the ashes, ashes, all one word. Yes. Um, and it and it says it right. You it says it right on the right listing. Right in the listing. So yep. pop on over. Oh, mom says she's got her. She's ready. Yay. And even if you're not gonna join the crochet along, go and get the pattern anyway, because it it's beautiful. awesome and you can get 15% off and it's only six dollars to start with, so totally absolutely yes. worth it. Which is like for crochet patterns, that's pretty much the yeah. going rate. Six dollars is about what you're going to spend. Right. Um. So I'm super excited. So I have. I'm going to take my little thingy off. So I bought a sock blank and Yay. a gradient. So this is going to be part it's so of. So pretty. I'm so excited. So this is one of Cheryl's sock blanks that I bought this past weekend yep. when we were at Stacy Stitches. I dyed a whole bunch of gradient sock blanks for the trunk show. Stacy kept them all, so I don't have any, but I'm gonna dye them. So this is what I'm gonna do my, um, Simon. this is what I'm gonna do my uh, my shawl from the Ashes, yep. Ashes shawl in. Yeah. So I am doing this, and then I bought an extra seam because I like mine a little bit longer and bigger. <laughs> the kids stop Simon is just so fun. So I picked up. Um, it's called Falling Petals, and I thought that it would be perfect. Yep. To do with the skein version with the gradient. I think that it would be. I love it. Amazing. It's gorgeous. It's got all the the colors and then little yeah. pops of yellow and blue to and break these it up little, a little tiny speckles. Yes. So I'm really excited. So this is going to be I don't what think I have any more of that either. Uh, oh, you have I do. One. I have one left. So this is what I'm doing my shawl in. Mm -hmm. Is this? That I think that's the gradient awesome. with this variegated speckle. Yeah. So I cannot wait. I'm super excited. Yeah. Super. That excited. is so good. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. I haven't 100% decided. Uh, I might also do a gradient or I might not. The first week of the knit along is going to be like getting your, your pattern, supplies. getting your supplies, yep. making sure you have the right hook size. I don't have that yet. I do have the pattern, but not a hook. Yeah. Um, so you have, you know, if you're going to join in, you have a week to kind of get your act together. And, yep. and um, I'm more than happy to yeah. help with anybody who has any questions or if you have any concerns yeah. or something just doesn't make sense. Yeah. I'm always happy to help just reach out. Yeah. And um and I will do my best. I don't know how you rolled this up so pretty. I'm oh, like, there's a I'm like the to my madness. Stuff. You have to like spread it with your pinkies while you're <laughs> Oh, pinkies out. Okay. Yeah, pinkies out. Um realize that is so funny. <laughs> yeah. So I hope some of you will join us. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Again, I am not a advanced crocheter at all. I'm very much a beginner, so uh, we'll be going at our own pace here. It's not going to be a stressful no. uh, event. Just for fun. Just, <laughs> Just for, for fun. fun. Uh, I think I'm probably going to do the one skein version. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Jess will have the two skein. I'll do the one skein. Um, Amy said that she loves it. She think it'll be it'll be beautiful. Um, so my little sock blank. Yes. Oh, you rolled it up perfectly. I did. Thank you. Good job. I yeah. I winged it. Yeah. So uh, yep. Yeah. So I got my two. Yes. This is my. Uh, my yep. From the Ashes shawl pick. Yep, I love it. So I'm really excited. Hopefully, I'm excited too. Hopefully, it looks like what it looks like in my head. Yeah, it yeah. will. It's going to be gorgeous. Yay. She has some pictures on her pattern page of people that have done it in a few different types of Gradients. yarn in it and met and mixed and matched. Excuse me. Also, it looked wonderful. Yes. Um, Amy says she's going to go over and get hers right after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that coupon. And she thinks that it'll be it. beautiful in these colors. In yeah, these colors. I think so too. And it's a gorgeous shawl, you guys. I can't wait. It'll I be my first am... shawl. Oh, I've really? never made a shawl before. Oh, I've done ponchos, fun. I've done sweaters, I've done yeah, and I've never crocheted any sort of like really garment type thing. Yeah, so this will be my first this will shawl. Be a first for very a whole bunch of things. Yes. I just want to show you guys. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna make a hat out of this. And yeah. it just says snap on uh gray pom pom yeah, that I have. Buddy. I love I, these combo? are my new pom poms and I am literally in love with them. I love this one. This too. and the honey brown, I just I cannot get enough of them. It's They're so, so full and so pretty. Look at those together. I you love them. Just die? This is I single ply. This is the merino silk yak single ply. Mm. I only have one skein of this left after the trunk show and I'm keeping it because I love it. It's so pretty. Um and that gray. Mm. Isn't that like just yes. a perfect match? It's 
amazing. Yeah. So amazing. I got to figure out what hat pattern I'm going to make. Um, I'm going to hold a double. So it's fingering weight, but I'll hold a double oh. for like a DK. Yep. And I did that on my Storms of Bruin hat and it turned out really well mm. with this base and the single ply. So yeah, I loved it how that hat turned out. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do for nice. this. Oh, totally Amy's going to use mohair in hers. <gasps> yeah. That's going to look awesome. so pretty. Awesome. What, remind me what color you got, Amy. I don't remember. Remind me. Mm. That's a great idea. Maybe I'll use mohair in mine too. Ooh. I have a whole bunch of new mohair. <gasps> you do too. Yeah. I forgot that we had put up a bunch. Yeah. I should probably. Yeah. Feel like I'm there. We go. There we go. <laughs> See, there's the yak, and there's the mohair, and then here's all the new yarn. None of it's in the shop yet, you guys. We just we just put it out. Yep. And um, there's a bunch of um cotton too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Up here. Over there. I don't know. Oh yeah. You can, you can see, see it, it. Sort of. This is all cotton. So this will all be going into the shop this week, hopefully. Yes. Um. If not, then by next week for sure. Mm hmm. Uh. Yeah. So. Storm cloud. Oh, that's right. Okay, yep. That that like blue, that blue color. That was really pretty. That'll look nice. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'll have to do something with mohair too. I don't know. We'll see. Nice. I gotta. I gotta get my act together and figure it out before we start. The, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm committed. My other option committed. that I was gonna do was instead of doing a gradient, was do it in the sparkle. I have a whole bunch of the sparkle oh, yarn too. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. I forgot that we have it. That's do, what's behind us. Yeah. Maybe I'll do it in this black sparkle. Because then it would go with like anything. I think it would be like super luxe. Ooh, yeah. It would you be know what fancy. I mean? Like a very fancy. Yeah. Mm. With the, all that lace and stuff, yeah. I think it lends itself to like something super so fancy. So pretty. So maybe I'll do this black, <laughs> black sparkle. Mm. Mm hmm. And then it'll just really show off the lace. Yeah. And then I'll have a nice sample for the sparkle yarn. Yes. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yep. I think that might be decided. I might just keep this for myself. Oh, I can't wait to see how that will work. Oh my God, I'm keeping this for myself and this for you guys. <laughs> I better get this in the shop before I just keep it all. Keep it all and there's nothing left. But like there's all these different, I love the pastels. Like, they're so springy. This almost looks neon, but it's not neon. It's more of like a like yellow, yellow. I love the, it's all like super pastel-y. Yeah. I love it. It's like peeps. Yeah. Right? What's the purple? Looks, just like peeps. Because there's purple peeps too. Yeah. Ta da! And they're all sparkly. You just can't see it. Right. You can see it in the purple. You can see it in the purple. Oh, you can see it yeah. a little bit in the blue. Yeah. It's easier to see on the darker colors, like, oops, on the camera. <laughs> One of these you just love that. Yeah. Like, you just love like, that yak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really do love the yak. It's too. like my favorite base. Oh, you know what? Well, look at we didn't even grab the sherbet looking one. No, we <gasps> left out the We left this one out. This sherbet one. one. Like look at those pastels. How yeah. pretty. Oh, I love them. They do look really good. They're so pretty. Fun fun. So there's lots of stuff coming yeah. to the shop. Yeah, lots of new stuff. Lots of cotton. Mm -hmm. Um minis. Sparkle. Oh, there's this bright blue too. Yeah, it reminds sparkle. me of Morpho Butterfly. It is the same color. Ah. It is that. Morpho Butterfly. Oh, look at me. <laughs> That's what it's called. Look at it? me. Yep. Nailed it. Nailed it. Look at you knowing all the I uh, know. I'm getting all kinds of familiar. Look at this one, guys. I love this. Was oh, that feeling groovy? Yep. Yeah. I love this color. It's super pretty. Not some of that sold, uh, a few of those sold this weekend. Yeah. At Stacy's. Yep. We had a... A good amount of people come yeah. and say hello. Um, I think a few of you were from from watching uh, over here, from watching us. But yeah. uh, but it was nice to meet people in person and mm. and um, it was so fun. and then just kind of hang out and yep. do the yarny thing, which was really fun. Yeah, really fun. Good time. And we don't, I don't have a LYS, so right. It's really fun to go and explore a little. Yeah. Yeah, and we did a Facebook Live from there. Yes. So if you guys didn't see that and you want to see what the shop looks like and stuff and you didn't have a chance to show up, mm -hmm. go check that out. It's only maybe 10 minutes long. It's not. Yeah, it's not, it's not super. It's not like our usual. No, it's you just had, a quick one. But you got a double dose. Yeah. You double got, dose last week of us. Yeah. You got a tour of the shop, a yeah. tour of like what the table. You got to see Stacy. Like. Mm -hmm. That was fun. And okay. she is 
so fun. She is. She's so fun. Yeah. So and I got my little mug. Yeah. If anybody didn't see it at the beginning. My Stacy Stitches mug. So cute. I love it. I'm like, my shirt's getting all wonky. I'm getting so excited. Are you falling apart. Yeah. All right. Well, we're like 10 minutes over here. Okay. 11 minutes. I suppose. We got to go. I know. I, like I said, this is my, I don't like this part. I don't like this part either. I just do this for like. I know. I always feel like mm, it yeah. feels icky to leave. Mm. It does. Because I, I, I don't know about all of you, but I leave always feeling really good. Me too. Like I, I walk away and I'm like, I feel really good. Like I started off feeling like me. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Oh, but you know what? I think I might have sushi waiting for me. Sushi for oh. lunch. Sushi for lunch. Oh, so now she's like, see ya. I'm like, yeah, adios, amigos. Right? I got sushi waiting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Amy said this shop was beautiful and she loved like her ponchos and stuff. Yes. And yeah. She had so some beautiful pretty. stuff. And a lot of that stuff was crocheted, which is mm. just amazing because that's Stacey's forte, which is. Yeah. I think all the samples in the shop, aside from the stuff I brought, were crocheted. I don't think she had anything uh, yet, did she? That bag in the. Oh, yeah. She had and a bag. She, I believe that poncho in the front that oh. had the, the like um, varying yeah. chunky. Yeah. That I believe was me. Oh, okay. But everything else was crocheted. Yeah. It was so pretty. So pretty. She does Loved it there. Work, so. All right. Bye, All right. Amy. Bye, Bye everybody. Amy. Bye, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with yes, us. Yes. We love you. Yep. We'll see you next week. Yeah. We'll and be back next week. Yep. Same yarny time. Yeah. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Yeah. Maybe a little yeah. 10 minutes later. We were on the ball today. Mm -hmm. So know. we'll see you guys right. next week. Bye. And. Get your, don't forget to get your shawl pattern if you guys are yes. planning to join the cow because it's still on sale. Yeah, today. So only. today is the That's last fine. day. Yeah. So if you're joining the cow, the crochet along, I should say. Um, well, it's still a cow. Yeah. It's crochet along. Yeah. So make sure that you get your pattern, um, mm -hmm. and then the first week will be getting your supplies if you need that. So yeah. um, you don't have to rush to get that, but if you want the discount yeah. and you want to join the crochet along, you're going to want to head over. Yeah. Go All right. It. We'll see you guys next All week. Right. Have an awesome week, everyone. Bye. Bye. Sorry about my hand, people. <laughs>